It's Q the Braider and I'm here with another how-to tutorial. As you read from the title, you see which style I'm about to go ahead and show you guys. So keep on watching, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So I'm here with my lovely model and with her help, I'll show you guys what I'll be using for this style. These are the bundles we'll be using today. We have three 26 inch deep wave bundles. Now that we have a clean canvas and a fresh blow dry, I'm gonna go ahead and section off the hair. Braid down, here we come. I parted from ear to ear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to the next step. So now we have a secure foundation on to the next step sewing the bundles in i'm going to start off with the bundles double because we're trying to squeeze in three so if you are doing more than two bundles you want to go ahead and double them so that you can squeeze in as many bundles as possible and this will give you a full look So boom, we have one bundle down and this is how you're gonna sew your bundle so you can have a seamless look without any leave out. So what you're going to do is you're going to curve your bundles slightly every time you move up so that the top bundle can cover the bundle underneath. And that's how you get a look like this with no leave out because we will be doing no leave out with this service. <laughs> Your hair still look good. You think so? Mm-hmm. You thought I was talking about you? Hey, yeah. hey. hey! the star has arrived. <laughs> That's what I mean by what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her court? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's two different types of court. Well, now you on my video. Um, not, no, good shit. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so, so these bundles are for me. <laughs> um, if you guys want any bundles, you know, just DM me at the Deja Vu Effect. Thank you. So we're finally finished with the sewing portion. We ended up using two and a half bundles out of those three. So now to the fun part, the tribal braids. So 
I'm going to be using the reference picture for these tribal braids today. This is the example that we have and I'm going to do my best to recreate this look. So the first step would be to separate the baby hairs from the braids. And as you can see, I'm going to have my swoops here and I'm going to leave her little sideburns. And I've already mapped out the triangle parts. So I'm just about to jump into the knotless braids. Now that the first knotless braiding, I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Now this is a little bit of an advanced tutorial, so make sure you do not blink or you might miss something. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my product and I'm going to outline the part. This is the triangle part, so I outline the triangle. The next step will be section this off into three even parts. Boom. Get them as even as possible if you would like a nice seamless braid. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the braid process. I'm going to cross the middle over the right one and I'm going to cross the middle over the left two. Cross the middle over the right one and cross the middle over the left two. Now, once you have a firm base, you're going to get your pre-stretched hair. I grabbed the piece. This piece will vary depending on how big or small you would like your braid. So I'm doing it on the smaller side. So I'm using a small piece. I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it in between my thumb and my index finger. I'm going to take the middle, cross over to the right one, cross over to the left two. I'm going to grab another piece. Again, this is a smaller size, so I grab the smaller piece, add it in between my thumb and my index finger. I'm going to cross the middle over to the right, cross the middle over to the left. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep adding pieces according to the size that you would like to get. I'm going to keep adding because it's not the size that I would like yet. Boom. Between my thumb, index, cross over to the right, cross over to the left. So I'm going to keep this same consistency until this braid gets the size that I would like. And then I'm going to just stop adding in pieces and braid all the way down once I get the fulfilled size. Okay, so now I have a similar thickness to the first braid that I started. Before you continue to braid all the way down, you're gonna limb check. So what you're gonna do is look down at the first braid and make sure that the second braid falls at the same spot. So I'm gonna put it up to the camera and you see the ends fall around the same length. Once you confirm that they fall around the same length, you're gonna continue to braid all the way down. Now that we're to the end of the braid, you want to make sure that these stop around the same length. So once you stop these around the same length, we're going to tie a knot. This is how you secure the braid at the bottom. So I take a piece of hair as thin as possible and I try to grab the longest piece. So once you have that thin piece of hair, you want to separate that from the rest of from the rest of the braiding hair. What I'm going to do is loop this piece around my index finger loop. And you want to pull the back piece through the loop and you're going to tug down. You can stop here if you think it's secure. I always do it two or three times. So I'm going to put a loop using my index finger, pull the back piece through the loop. And then you're going to pull down. I'm going to do one more just so I make sure it's extra secure. And there you have it. Two knotless braids. So keep on watching. I'm going to go ahead and continue this style. And if you have been following my techniques, you should be here as well.
guys, this is the completed look. So the only two things that I did off camera was the baby hairs and I used curling rods to curl the bottom of the braiding hair. So you guys, they have a little twist to this. As y'all can see, keep looking. You can wear your hair down the middle or you can flip it over and wear it to the side. So, ooh, if you are a gal who likes versatility, then this style is for you. Y'all go ahead and do me a favor in the comment section. Rate this style on a scale of one to 10. And be honest now, don't lie just because it's me. I can handle the truth. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like what you saw, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you all next video. Bye. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. Oh, now, I ain't saying she a gold digger. Hey, but she ain't messing with no broke. Bro. <laughs> we'll be showing you what we'll be using. What we'll be using. And with our help, we'll show you what we'll be using today for this video. <laughs> oh we just went over. That is not the sentence. <laughs> That's not the sentence. What is wrong with me? Okay.